have made it to St. Mark's Square where there's St. Mark's Basilica, but it's also flooded here, so we're getting the full experience. Today is a sad day because we have come to the end of our fun and exciting cruise on Norwegian Epic. Welcome back everyone. It's been so much fun in Europe and we have made so many great memories this trip. Today we are going to tour Venice, but I want to mention something first about the disembarkation process with Norwegian. If you're interested in sailing with Norwegian or cruising in general, make sure you reach out to us or you can head on over to goldgirlgetaways.com to start planning your next trip today. Now, Norwegian Cruise Line uses a color-coded system for disembarkation, and if you don't have transfers prearranged through NCL, these are on a first-come, first-served basis. So if you're interested in getting off of the ship quickly, you'll need to either carry off or get a color tag for the earliest time. The other part about this is the ship didn't actually port in Venice, but in Trieste, which is about a two hour train ride from Venice itself and about an hour and a half from the Venice airport. And the really important thing for today is just managing expectations here. You shouldn't have an early morning flight ever when cruising. And in our opinion, all flights should be at least 2 p.m. or later just to be on the safe side. A lot of people missed their flights because they didn't have proper transportation or poorly planned flights. Now for us, we did our air through Norwegian Cruise Line, but had them book our flights for the following day. So we could have time to explore Venice after getting off the ship. And we walked to the train station with our bags, which is about a quarter mile from the port. And you could say we could have taken a taxi, but they really charge a lot of money just to go from the port to the train station. So we decided to walk. Yeah, I mean, if we can make that one, we're as long as we don't have to go. Here, watch the bag. No idea, buddy. Yeah. Absolutely, we'll be around. We have officially made it into Venice. We checked into our hotel. Uh, the rooms are not ready yet, but we were able to leave our luggage. And so now we're gonna walk out into Venice, see if we can find something to eat, maybe a little snack. Uh, and then eventually we're gonna take a water boat, I guess. Uh, oh, that might be one of them right there. Uh, into the heart of Venice, where we can see St. Mark's Square. But for now, Food. Hello. You need a pizza? Uh, yes, please. Uh, we'll also do one pepperoni, please. Pepperoni? Oh my god. And that's in the bag. Now, once we found a place to eat, we decided to take the water bus to St. Mark's Square. And our recommendation here for everyone watching and maybe thinking about doing the same thing would be to walk to St. Mark's Square, especially if it's in the morning, uh, rather than taking the water bus first thing. And you can always take the water bus back. Hello. Uh, we're just trying to maybe take the boat to a rough, roughly near St. Mark's Square. One way costs the nine fifty per person. Is it this one? Uh, is there a round trip? Round trip is 19 euros. Uh, four round trips, please. Four tickets for go and four tickets when you come back, okay? Hello. Tickets to go, tickets to come back. Got it. Can you take me your car? Sure, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Once we bought our tickets, it took about 45 minutes just for us to get onto the water bus. And it was packed with people. Well, we had ourselves a little snack a little bit ago. And now we are waiting for the, it's like a water taxi, but it's a bus uh, because it is much longer. But it's a boat. 
and it's a boat on the water. So we're waiting for that to go the whole way down around through Venice so that we can go to St. Mark's Square, which I'm excited for. Well, I think Grayson and Crystal might make it on. I'm staying here. So we just attempted the water bus taxi thing and that was like one of the worst experiences I think that we've had yet this entire trip, which is good that it was saved for uh, here at the end, but it was just like total mayhem trying to get on there. And then where we were standing at, it was just a lot of shoving back and forth. So we decided to get off and we are gonna walk the rest of the way to uh, St. Mark's Square, even though it is raining right now, but uh, not a huge deal. Sure. He's trying to share with you. Oh. He's trying to share with you. Okay, we have made it to St. Mark's Square where there's St. Mark's Basilica and uh, the, I forget what the tower is called, but it's also flooded here, so we're getting the full experience. <laughs> You're gonna get so. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful though. So I got to say that what's really, really cool about this is to actually be able to be here in a place where I think if you've been a watch like a follower of ours for a really long time, watching us go to Disney, going into Epcot and in the Italian or the, the Italian pavilion, the Italy pavilion, you will see this same icon in there, but which is cool to see, but to actually be here and, and be able to actually like look at it and stand here uh, is just something that is just totally different and will never ever in any way compare to being in the same place at all. This is, I've been trying to tell people for a long time that you gotta venture out of your comfort zone to really get to experience some really cool stuff. And today this is one of them, you know? I mean, the streets are flooded uh, and you know, it's just, it's a real, true authentic experience here in Italy uh, being here in St. Mark's Square. So I, this is awesome. Totally worth it. Even with the water bus thing, which was crazy. This was still super cool to come and see. What else do you have to add? We are living our best Venice lives right now. I could care less about the water. It actually is kind of adding to our experience. Um, <laughs> we've been like laughing the whole entire time, just enjoying ourselves. But like, it is really cool to be here. Uh, we love Disney stuff and seeing like what kind of inspired the Italy Pavilion and Epcot, it's really cool. But to see this in real life and see how large everything is, it's insane. Like you have to come here, rain or shine. <laughs> what? So we came out here because uh, if you're in Epcot, this is kind of the way that Epcot is set up, except it's set up a little bit backwards where the pillars are facing out towards us. These ones are facing in and uh, the tower is actually in the middle in the Italy pavilion. So it's a little bit different setup, but still nonetheless, really cool to kind of, you know, see the inspiration for what they did at uh, Walt Disney World and Epcot. But I mean, just an awesome experience to actually be here and step foot. And, you know, even if it is raining and it's wet, it's still something that is just super, super uh, enjoyable. So I'm uh, currently trying to hide out from the rain because I've got the expensive gear and nobody else has anything like that. So they don't really care about getting too wet. I don't mind getting a little bit wet, but the rain was really starting to come down there, but it's super cool. So where I'm at right now, you can actually walk down and there's a bunch of like different shops uh, and stores that you can go look into from, I think I even saw a Rolex store to a cafe to uh, sit down restaurants. So uh, oh man, this is just like really, really, really cool. It's super cool just to be here, you know, I mean, when will we ever get to come back to Venice? I have no idea. We might not get to. So, you know, embrace it. It's raining and it's wet, but you know what? It's still cool. 
So as we uh, continue here to kind of walk around and explore uh, Venice and St. Mark's Square area, it's, you know, something that I just really, really enjoy is just having this ability to just kind of like look and poke into some of these like little teeny tiny alleyways. They're super tiny. They're hard to like walk through. Um, they made for great photos, but it's just really, really cool. Just to see like all of like the detail and the history and everything. So. So we just did this like awesome time there. You know, we were just exploring a lot of uh, Venice and we decided to make our way back here to the square, find some place to maybe sit down and eat. And really cool that we came back this way because now we've got this totally different perspective of the entire square. The sun is out, it's not raining. Uh, and it's just, you know, again, it's like something that's a little bit different. You gotta have a little bit of give and take whenever you're traveling. Um, things are never gonna go the way that you want them to go. So have some give and take, have some patience. Things will work out if you, you know, I think just put out some good vibes. Wow, there's actually people up there inside of the tower. Italian man up there. So Taylor and I were kind of like looking for someplace to eat earlier and we saw this, uh, what looked like a really good fast food place. Yeah. And there aren't really many fast food kind of like locations, I feel like. And we found this place, it's called we the- did. uh The Frito Inn. Let me, let me just clarify that that's it. Oh yeah, it is. It says on the door. Yeah. It smells so good. Oh, it's real good. So we got some Frito Misto. It's super fresh too. Like, mm -hmm. you know, we, we he saw them- to order. Yeah, we saw them like breading it and then dropping it into the pan back or into the fryer. Yes. Pretty good? Yeah. I can't eat any more. Wait, hold on. Mind you, it wasn't on film, but Taylor spilled chocolate all over herself earlier. I did. Chocolate gelato. It was all down my bag and everything. Don't drop it. Well, everybody, that is going to wrap up our series from The Med. It was so much fun. We had such a great time. And, you know, if you're interested in joining us on a future group trip, getting to hang out and explore some new places with us, we would love for you to join us. You can send us an email at travel with Josh and Taylor at gmail.com or you can send me a message at Josh Rippy at goldgalgetaways.com and we can start getting together and planning and getting you on our next group trip and if you're interested maybe just in planning a cruise or your next adventure head on over to goldgalgetaways.com to start planning I'm telling you trips like these they're once in a lifetime they are memories that are going to stick with you for the rest of your life and they are just so much fun so we hope you guys enjoyed this series. Be on the lookout for our next series coming to you from Alaska on the Norwegian Encore. It's the last sailing of the entire season. We can't wait to share it with you guys. And as always, we will see you in the next one. Yay. We had a wonderful time. <laughs> we thank our tour guide, Josh, for getting us here. You're welcome. In the chat.